For this week's vlog, I watched the film Crash. Uh, this film was made in 2004 and it follows the lives and interconnects the stories of several characters. Um, a district attorney and his racial prejudiced wife, police detectives, a Middle Eastern man and an affluent African-American couple. So this film was made in the wake of the September 11 terrorist attacks, um, the trial of OJ Simpson and the LA riots that occurred in the early 90s. Um, focusing on the different characters as a springboard for discussing the social climate of Los Angeles in 2004, the film is about racial prejudice and this is represented in many different ways in the film. Um, a very powerful scene in the movie where um, racist LAPD officer Matt Dillon pats down and sexually assaults an African-American woman who is innocent shows the ability that police have to defy the rights of people based solely on their racial prejudice and position of power. Um, in many ways, this is a bit of a throwback to the 1992 Rodney King event where this African-American man was beaten by a group of cops almost to death and the police responsible received no jail time. The film also makes excellent representations of white privilege with Sandra Bullock in one scene being terrified by a black man and then in another scene telling her Latina housekeeper that she is her best friend. And whilst amongst the privacy of her husband and her other white friends, she lets loose with racism. Um, I think this is something very important to highlight as a lot of people, especially white people, um, can be guilty of racism in between friends, but they never dare do that in front of people of other races. Um, a very important thing that the film highlights. Um, I think that this film is a timeless representation of the racial tensions that not only exist within LA, but greater American society. Um, the film breaks down stereotypes while simultaneously exploring that there is a degree of truth to them in some scenarios. In many ways, this movie made me question stereotypes that I hold myself and it really teaches how dangerous they can be if we let them get out of control.